Another function is emulsification. An emulsifier is a substance that can disperse and stabilize water and soluble substances. Um, so soap is, is one thing that does that. Um, in the body, it's the bile acids. Bile acids are cholesterol derivatives that function as emulsifying agents in your digestive tract. So when you eat fats, your body needs to digest them and move them around, but they are not soluble in water. So what do we do? Well, we have to solubilize them or break them into smaller little chunks of grease and the bile acids will act kind of like a soap and facili facili facilitate their absorption. So of the cholesterol that your liver makes, a third to a half of it is actually converted to bile acids for helping you to digest fat that you eat. So the action of the bile acids is similar to soap, where it surrounds the, the fats and allows them to move around in the water. Um, the bile acids are tri or di hydroxy cholesterol derivatives. Here is a cholesterol molecule, and these are derivatives, and we see the, there's some differences. Here's two hydroxies on this cholic acid, and then this end here, um, this carbon-17 side chain has been oxidized to a carboxylic acid. So we see, whoops, we see that in common on these three different bile acids. Now what's not being shown here is that the side chain is bonded to an amino acid. And we'll look at that in a minute. But these, these have two or th three hydroxy groups on them. They're derivatives of cholesterol. So the body takes the cholesterol and makes these bile acids. So here's the cholic acid like we saw on the previous page. And what happens is we get amino acids come in, either taurine or glycine in this example. And they're going to react with that carboxylate ion and form an amide. So we've got an amide here and an amide there. And one of the important things that this does is it increases the polarity and the water solubility of the bile acid. So here we've got this end that's now very polar and this end which is not very polar. And so these are going to help um, surround the fats like soap surrounds dirt. Those are bile acids. Bile itself is a fluid that contains bile acids. It's secreted by your liver. It gets stored in your gallbladder, and then it's released into your small intestine when you're digesting food. Now, you've probably heard of people who have had um, a gallbladder attack or gallstones. Some gallstones are actually just almost pure cholesterol that's precipitated out, basically, and that causes a lot of problems. You can survive without your gallbladder. Your liver is still going to make bile acids. The problem is you just don't have that storage place for them anymore. So if you don't have a gallbladder, then you have to be um, more careful with the, the fats and things that you eat, or you're not going to digest them, and that leads to other, other problems.